Um, hey, so Tom, to I, I got a good one for you. How did you get introduced to Aikido? It's such an important part in your life. How did yeah. you come across? How did that come into your life? Well, I, I grew up uh, in, in Washington, D.C. Um, and so martial arts was all sort of big to me. I wrestled in high school. I did really well in, in that. Played football in college. You had to choose. You could either lose weight or gain weight. Right. I'd rather gain, gain weight. Uh, but, uh, you know, boxing was of, of interest to me. All the arts were of interest to me. Uh, when I, I started studying uh, Shotokan, a karate style first, this is in the 60s. Uh, then I worked with this amazing Tai Chi guy um, who really uh, helped me doing something we call join hands, understanding that, you know, my wrestling training that I had done uh, in school, man, I, I wish I would have known that. I wish I would have known certain blending movements, certain, you know, because I just, I did it more through quickness and power training, lifting, running, anything that I gained speed and power, but I didn't recognize the essence of power uh, is, is, is utilizing what's around you and honoring what's around you. So then um, that shifted it pretty much. And uh, I met this man in uh, at the academy uh, who was the, the head of uh, Aikido and he uh, he was the head of all of Aikido and he came to the academy from Japan he had never been to the mainland before and uh, he absolutely blew my mind uh, he was a little guy about five foot five uh, World War II guy um, very uh one of the kindest happiest he looked like a monk you know he just had this sense of monkness about him and uh i'd invite him over to dinner because we had the big academy and he was just showing up there as uh, one of the visiting instructors kobayashi was my teacher in aikido uh, but he was just showing up as the chief instructor in in the world and uh he, we got down on our knees and uh, he said, I want you to just push me over. And I, I said, well, that'll be pretty easy. You know, you're, you're like a guy in your forties and I'm this young, strong, tough guy, I thought. <laughs> and I, and I tell you, I could not move him. I could not, I, there was nothing I could do. And I went, I mean, I got a, pretty frustrated and then and then he looked at me and he said domo which means thanks and he just effortlessly put me on my back effortlessly <laughs> and i said i said fuck this you can't do that that doesn't happen <laughs> and uh he said well I, I can't you can do it also if you would just understand certain principles and work with them daily and that's when uh you know i started to work work that hard at, at this art and 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 it and then with kobayashi sensei who was his um, his main guy here in the u.s uh i would go to la and train with him and and you learn certain principles and then you need to apply them and you need to work with them and everything you're doing washing dishes or whatever you're doing and before you know it uh there's a certain sense of, of blending that you, you you basically live into and and the aspect i'm talking about most important is your life your kids your your wife your your job the, the people you see and yeah the, the martial arts is fun but it's the it's living life from that place of blending from that place of key or chi or energy and 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 seeing beyond the physical and uh, you know it's 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 just been a calling card for me, a, a, a matchstick to lighting up my life. Uh, and yeah, that, that's sort of that's sort of it.
it's you know it's a fun it's fun that's i'm glad you, you said this story because i remember you coming to the high school and other schools and doing your demonstrations and doing the exact thing and going through that yeah. with the football kids and stuff and and so it's kind of fun to hear the story from the original i mean it, it feels like it's your karate kid moment yeah <laughs> well i, I remember that too with the uh, with centering and 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 trying to get folks to lift you on the stage uh, that oh, was yeah. always always uh interesting and stuck with me for sure it's funny and there's no trick about it really i mean the way uh the sensei would teach it to me way back you know was he would go uh just uh do you think you're disconnected from the room your feet are standing on the floor. There's energy around you. You're connected to the whole room. And I want you to really understand that. And if you really understand that, then when people try to lift you up, they're trying to lift up the entire room. Well, that's virtually impossible. You can't lift yourself <laughs> off the floor. How would you walk? So it's just a matter of our, your willingness to connect with the energy, which, which gets back to math and the community school when I was teaching there with Katzenberger and stuff in the early 1970s was uh, that, 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 that concept of uh, Bucky, Bucky Forrest concept. It's all energy. And, and this, this idea that we are uh, physically uh, detached from it in our bodies is, is, a, is a terrible mistake to make. Right. <laughs> it's a terrible mistake, mistake to make in relationship when you work with your children and you work with your, your, your friends. If you, if you can't see that, that you are not you, you are also them, there's a bigger you out there, then you can't be kind, you can't be generous, you can't be ecological. Uh, you can do it only because you think you should, but it doesn't emanate from your essence. And uh, so, you know, <laughs> we, it, the world has a lot to work on. Well, it, yeah, and it, it, it's especially, it's interesting because we grew up listening to you and I see the way the world's going now. And it's, it's interesting because um, it really is about perspective. It really is about how you are willing to view things and question things and, and be on a, on a certain plane. Um, 